Hi, I'm Jason Allen Griffin. I'm going to teach you today about squats. One of the best exercises you can do and uh, sort of important to get the form right. So I'm going to go over a few variations going from the most easy and basic up to some pretty advanced techniques. So the first variation I call sit stands and you're basically getting up and down out of a chair. Sit in a chair that allows your knees to be at a 90 degree angle with your knees directly above your feet. Start gently rocking your body back and forth and ride the momentum of your head to a standing position. Notice that my knees and my head both don't move forward of my feet. Once your head is above your feet, press your heels hard into the ground and stand straight up. And then slowly and with control, lower yourself carefully back down to a seated position. When first beginning this technique, you may find it helpful to press your knees with your hands, but eventually try to use only your leg strength. In the next variation, you're doing your sit stands, but not actually going all the way to sitting. Just barely tap the chair with your buttocks. The setup is the same as the sit stands, only instead of sitting completely into the chair, tap the chair without losing the tension in your legs. Step away from the chair and repeat the action as if the chair were still there, sitting in an imaginary chair. As with all techniques, it's important to notice the vertical alignment of the feet, the knees, and the ears, all remaining in the same line. I'm showing another variation by putting my hands behind my head it makes the back muscles work harder to keep your head above your knees and feet. Once you've mastered your imaginary chair squats, you can graduate to plyometric squats. This is a squat with an explosive element to it. I'm literally jumping out of my squat. It's important when you land to soften the ankles, knees, and hips so you don't land on hard, stiff legs. Let your legs absorb the shock of the landing. Once you feel like you've mastered your explosive squats, then we can start to move into one-legged squats. The first variation here is a split squat. So I'm emphasizing using the right leg in this case. And if you have trouble with balance, you can use a nearby table. I'm trying not to put a lot of weight into that back leg, but emphasize using only the front leg in this one-legged variation. Your seventh variation is the chair split squat. You put your back leg up on a chair. This puts more of the load into the front leg. As with all squat variations, it is very important that you do not let your heel come off the ground. And then the ultimate variation is the pistol squat. One-legged squats. Not for everybody. The leg that you're not using is held out in front of you. You're still attempting to establish that vertical line of heel, knee, and ear all in one vertical line. Great exercise conditions the whole body. So that's it. Enjoy your squats. If there's only one exercise that you do, you should make it squats. That's going to condition your legs, your buttocks, and your back. It's a great whole body conditioner and metabolic conditioner as well. Enjoy.